Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are playing the Holy Fury update for the mod 3.1. If I'm not mistaken, we are back as King Rhaegar the Wise. And um, I guess I left off. I made a video before this that I'm not going to put up because it's literally the same as the one before. We're running around trying to squeak out the last remaining war points we need to finish this um right now it's actually i don't know if we went against stannis last episode or the one before but he ended up taking over because robert had a war with uh i think it was cape wrath or it was the wild i think it was this guy uh for tyranny he ended up losing that war because he was too involved with what's going on with the Iron Throne War. So he ended up losing this, had to uh, abdicate to his brother Stannis. Um, we still have Renly cap captive right now. Um, Robert is actually his heir, so if something happened to him, Robert would take back over. But right now we're against Stannis instead of Robert. Now, we're at 83%. We have a 100% battle, probably over 100 if you're able to go over 100. But... They got us an occupation, and really the only thing they have us in is this right here. Driftmark and Dragonstone are the only two things they have, and but they are big when it comes to points. Dragonstone by itself is 7.26%, so <laughs> Driftmark is 3.81, which I don't understand because if you look at Storm's End, it's 2.66. He is the holder that county is the guy we're going against so his capital should be more than that um rainwood is still open so i'm thinking maybe we could take rainwood maybe that'll give us a little you know around the seam because it is his holding uh but i don't know the only thing we can really do is uh siege we can't no no reason even battling now i thought about what am i going to do with this bail army here now they have too many men to ferry off i assume because if you look at his he has 27 uh boats now he's only gonna be able to get 2700 off i thought at least he'd try to get some of them off now the red wines he captured him somehow i don't know if he made him switch sides because he was under the reach now he's independent and against me so uh he is imprisoned by john aaron so I don't know what's going on with that. He has almost 3,000 men, but he does have a good amount of boats. Now, the Reach has no ships because the Old Town and the Arbor are now not with the Reach. And they're the main two sources of uh, boats. They have their own little problems going on. Not them. Uh, the West has his little problem with the Ironborn, which uh, he is losing right now. So, and he has Hornbale and the gold road are fighting on our side against robert now, he's still on our side but he's not really been much help now he's the only one that has any good amount of boats so what i did is i put uh the siege thing here for him to come siege us hopefully he will even if he only brings the 3300 that he can actually bring because he only has 33 ships it'll take some of the men off that end up dying in that war and they don't reinforce because he's on another island that's not his so <clears throat> hopefully if he can maybe knock this in half or even pull it off you don't know i guess whoever the commanders are we'll see then i'll be able to take you know the three thousand i have uh 232 gold right now so i'm just gonna keep saving it in hopes of if you know it gets down a little more if we can go and buy uh 2500 or 2250 or even 3000 we might be able to take care of it that's the only way around other than sieging the rest of the stormlands out and even dead i don't think it's gonna be enough so right now that's what we're gonna do because that's our only real uh thing we can do so what i'm gonna do this unit because i don't want them to take a bunch of attrition i'm going to take some of these and have them go off it's still gonna take some attrition but I'm gonna have these guys just take their own path down I'll just have them wait behind 
Um, yeah, either way, I mean, those are actually my men, so I'm going to take them down and have them literally just sit here to try to reinforce that. How much can they have? Uh, 10,000. It's never going to get that high. It'd be great, but we're only getting 12 soldiers a month. Let me see if my spot or my uh, master at arms can do anything about that. Levy reinforcement rate. I think that's only for your levy, like at home reinforcing. So maybe he can reinforce this some more. I don't know. It's, it's, I, that thing is, it sucks, man. I want to know if I was to disband all my men and re raise them, would I be able to get a chunk of this? Because if you look at here, like. It's only 136, but this is just an example. Hers is completely full. Uh, here, he has 2,000 men that I can't raise. I don't understand why I can't, but I don't know. Uh, we have, since 420 men, we can't raise them. So we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, we're going to take the bulk of our army and I think just go to Rain House. Actually. Uh, we'll go here. I don't. I can't afford to have him take any more land back that we already have. I was gonna unpause. Um, I do have a couple. Oh yeah, I need a hand of the king. That can help me with some blood reinforcement too. Um, I don't want to pick somebody that's actual vassal under us because it's gonna end up getting changed probably and giving it to a more paramount. So I guess we'll pick George R. R. Martin here. <laughs> um, this guy that's supposed to replicate him. Because if I, I mean, he's old, and if I take him off, he likes me enough to where it's not going to be a big deal. And he can't join factions against me anyways. And he actually wants to be in the king, so. Uh, Oversea Realm, this gives us dimension to prove. Um, prove defenses, not a big deal. Pacify will give us levy size and levy reinforcement. It's not much, but. Hmm. Defenses isn't really going to help me. What's the fort level here? Ten. So we can't get it. it can't be sieged anyways. Um, or it can't be assaulted. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just have him pacify. Give any little ink, inkling of a uh, reinforcement we can get. Everybody else, sorry. Right. There's a couple other positions, but they can wait. All right. Your grace of honor and legions to take up arms and defend the realm against the Iron Third's enemies. Who are you locked up for? Somebody in the Iron Isles. Alright. Well. Any little bit of men, I guess, helps. Oh, I gotta be careful with some of these guys here. Let me start moving these guys down here. So they don't get picked off. Um, let's see. We're gonna have any people that join new. We're just gonna have them join up to these guys. I don't want to put any more on the ones that are there. I'm not going to get any war score out of hitting him. I just don't want him taking that back. That's pretty much what we're, we're doing right now. If it comes to battle. Uh, he has 3,000 men there. So let's hit him first. And then we'll go back. Uh, actually, we're going to take them down the rain house. What's pool guard? Shit, he just took that. Alright. It's only 400 men, but he's got some uh, Riverlanders over here lurking around. Let's turn on the speed a little. Alright, let's go take these guys out. It'd be great to capture Stannis. Where is Stannis? He's right there going to Grandview. So we'll take these guys out and head this way. What is that? Lordsport? Oh, he's actually fighting with us. What's the Iron Isles doing? They're just fighting against them. Um, there's nothing I can do to get them to join me. Yeah, it's only Lord's Port. Alright, um... Oh, yeah, and the Manderleys have, like, five boats. If I can just get anybody to attack... Oh, here we go, they're leaving! This is it right here. Come on, get your asses over here. You guys are going to go over there. As um, soon as they leave, we're going there. Uh, I've been waiting for them to do this. Alright, we don't have to worry about running down there now. Um, 
let's go up here i'm gonna take those men and those men and get them on the boat and bring them up there as long as i got twice as many of his men he's not going to try to siege damn he just lost some what did we just lose i think he took something else we just lost he just took something back um all right hurry up all right we're gonna put these guys back together we're gonna put them on the boat that's all we need how much did this reinforce hardly any all right he won't try to uh, siege at all battle those guys Valaki, the wife of Carl Solo of Solo, has been spending a few days in King's Landing and it's been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our people are not different after all. Non aggression pack. Do you have boats, my friend? <laughs> no. Um I don't see why not. Alright. They're going over here. Please no more boats coming here. I'm kinda worried that red wine's gonna come there as soon as I go. Alright, um, what I need to do, I think I need to free these guys up to do what they need to do. So, let's go ahead and just take everybody off, let them do what they need to do. Because if we take back Dragonstone and Driftmark, I'm straight. I don't need to worry about any of the other bullshit, because that's all their occupation is. Alright, that's good. We'll still try to manually come there, I guess. Alright. I'm glad to hear that uh, you are well and that my wife's visit was a good experience. Unfortunately, in these times, packs are broken left and right. And to avoid going back on my word in the future, I'd rather not give this kind of guarantee. I hope you understand. Oh, well, honesty is a virtue. Alright. Thank God. Hopefully. Oh, man. I think he's coming back. He's going to the gullet, which is right there. Yep, he's coming back. Son of a bitch. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right, we got more people joining. That's good. All right, well, let's just try to... Oh, no, he's putting them on the boat. That's even better. All right, how many men are here? 151. We're going to assault that, like, ASAP. Hopefully, these guys will start taking out these men. And they don't take too much shit while I'm dealing with this. Alright, uh, your own prisoners finish his education. Can we recruit him? <laughs> we can recruit him. Um, is it better just to recruit him or have him locked up? Mm, if, he become, if he dies, he'll become his heir. Oh, he had a kid. When did that happen? Hugh Storm. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll recruit him. He'll end up probably breaking out anyways, at least we'll have him to do what we need to do. Alright, hurry up. Damn, we're losing a lot of occupation score because they're taking, sh or we either lost control of stuff or they're taking stuff. Let's go ahead and just, uh, oh, we can't even do this. It doesn't matter, it's not that many men. Lord Carlin approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold in your patience. And the work would take a year to complete. 70 gold. Okay. Now that we're okay on gold. I hope it just doesn't take all day sieging us down. I mean, it's 151 men, but the fort level is high. Uh, your grace, Conclave of Citadel, select their Grand Maester. He's a Northman that doesn't like me. He's got 34 learning. <laughs> Alright. On Dragonstone, you notice the stone dragons on the walls of the old castle. What if those huge stone beasts could come to life and fill the skies with fire once again? A stone dragon or a stone dragon's egg? Alright. They're going to take that, which they just did. We're getting attrition for being out of supplies. We need to hurry up and take that. Alerted by growing feeling itchiness, you are appalled to notice the appearance of bright red rash on your body. Where's that from? No sickness. Eric states the extensive medical experience leads him to certain conclusion that you are developing the great pox. He insists that you follow his directions. Oh my god. You're too young to be getting these kind of ailments. To alleviate your pain, Grand Maester Eric 
lit three candles and had you join hands with him. After a moment of silence, he had you repeat some words after him in a language you did not understand. Oh, I got a little bit of a symptom. All right, so they took out those veil men. That's good. They need to take out these people that are sieging shit. We're losing. Come on, man. It's 151 men, and it's taking forever. All right, we have uh, Alden Keep, but it is 157 men. <laughs> Cobalt bad. I probably should have took Drip Arc first. Man, my war score is going down. I don't want to have to come back and take this shit too. After years of careful planning, Jerry Lancer has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. Wow. He went to war against his brother <laughs> with 6,000 men. How many does he have? Oof. Repulsive sores and abscesses are spreading across your body, originating from the groin. You have contracted a great pox. That sucks. Do we have, like, very bad pox? <laughs> Minus one health. Alright, this is not that bad. Court physician Eric has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains there's several different types of treatment he can offer. Um, I think it may be good for the. Hold on, what's our fertility? Minus 20. He can still have kids. His wife's getting rather old, though. I don't think she's gonna have any more. We do have a bastard, too, that we can legitimize. So, we're okay. I'm not gonna do the crazy shit. This is as long as you keep me alive for a while. Yeah, so there we go. We have as better health than we do having the pops. <laughs> Uh, lowered his hand into a bucket he brought to your chambers. When he pulled it out again, a little fish was wriggling between his fingers. Open wide, he prompted you and dropped in your mouth. You struggled not to retch it as it tickled the back of your throat. Alright, this is the longest siege ever for a hundred and something men. Like, you gotta be kidding me, this is taking forever. Port level or not, like, it's taking a real long time. Alright. They're sieging some stuff down here, I think. The gold road has got a lot of men right there. But they're losing a lot to attrition. Damn it, man. I do not want to have to come back and take shit here, too. And then have to get all those men back together. They need to take this before they bring men over here. God, it's taking so long. I'm going to see how we're doing that. People are dragging stuff can no longer work the fields because it is getting cold. Then attending the wounds of your men at your behest, it seemed much happier now hearing that their lord would offer his own maester to aid his men, so there goes some more morale, which could, I guess, only help. Here's the war scores dropping more and more as I wait for this damn siege to go. 34 gold. This honorable lord Baylor Hightower fared to answer my call. Yeah, I hope it keeps track of all these men. Come on, man. I lost like half my war score waiting for this hundred and something men to give up still is it's still going uh the crag gets sent you got any boats no you barely got any men all right there we go <laughs> i didn't give us like any we got back to seven pretty much all right so we can see the rest assault the rest out at least Alright, Walton Harleton is no longer a participant in the war. The usurper Edmund Teller has joined the war as the attacker. Huh? Hey, he was already in the war. His dad was, at least, anyway. Not good. They don't have any men, anyways. Alright, sick dad. We're gonna lose some men there, but. Your squire, Renly Parathy, has finally become a man grown. He is training under your guardianship coming to an end as a knight you can choose a knight young renly if you deem him worthy sure we'll let make you a knight make you hate your brother the same he's a lunatic though now all right rise little little renly this honorable sir diesel Dolt has failed to answer the call all right let's go to drift mark now hurry up and take this before uh god they take anything back see all the men like this well they're still down there We'll just come down here and land so we can get all them back together again. 
Uh, give me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy? All right. Um. Are you in a faction or anything? No. We'll just keep it to ourselves for now. Who's this kid? Uh, Mooton. Duty. Let me put this back down. I don't want to go too fast. Alright. Um, we can assault this, but we don't have enough men. I don't want to lose too many men. That's all the men I have. Dishonorable Lord Har oh, We already know he wasn't going to fill his duty. At least they don't have that as high of a fort level. It shouldn't take that long. Turning colder and colder, and people at King's Landing no longer work the fields. Now you come here. I don't need you sieging that now. Um, yeah, come siege with me, little Manderly. Where'd you go? There you are. Siege here. Alright, Crag, again. I guess his dad died. What are you doing? See, this is what I'm talking about, man. They do not like to, uh,. I'm losing so much war score, it's crazy. When I took those things, and they, or I take anything in the Stormlands, it's like next to nothing in war score. At least they're sieging down here, though. I'll give them that. Some of my, alright, Rainwood was taken. How much is that worth? Let me see if that was even. <laughs> 0.34. I don't understand that shit. Alright. Hurry up and take this. We've got 8,000 men up here. War scores dropping and dropping. As long as I get these aisles, I can come back and kind of whip up on the other ones. Um, yeah, of course, we'll spend high. Uh, what are you good at? He's good at all this. Um, I don't know if I should do stewardship or just do marshal. I mean, he doesn't have a bonus in marshal, but... He has diplomacy and stewardship. But yeah, his conscientious can get him diligent, honorable, temperate. That'd be great if he could get shrewd. This one will give him gregarious, deceitful. We'll just give him Marshall, that's what he's got the highest in, and that's what we're in. Hopefully he turns out like Pop Dukes. Alright, Slint. Too bad you don't have a hired stewardship. I'll just give you intrigue. Get you a guardian. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, we're still his guardian right here. Yeah. Alright. Let's see here. We need to really hurry this up. They're taking back shit left and right. Monument Lord Carlton promise is finished. The statue is unveiled and it's just a bigger version of Lord Carlton. Only slightly bigger better looking than the real Lord Carlton. <laughs> I don't know about this. Tear it down. He will be put in his place. <laughs> hmm. What is he, my master of coin? You know, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Come on, man. I'm losing so much war score now that I came over here. I need to come back and, like, take all that shit back again. Yeah, man, whatever. Come on. As long as they don't try to take King's Landing. I mean, I don't even think they have enough men. Now I'm going to come back and take all that shit back again. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. Alright. How much does this next one... Oh, are you kidding me? 664... 327... 233... Alright. You know what? Let me see. How much are these worth? Mmm... Driftmark... Hall and Driftmark's worth 4. I guess I'm staying here. <laughs> Though I brought, uh, thought Master Laws, whatever, to be a more reasonable man, and request to be allowed to duel his rival, Lord Adrian Seldegar, is slightly erratic. Claims the council to be subject of affronts from his rival, and has asked for permission to defend his honor. Um. 
Let me see. Sure. You guys kill each other. Alright, we need a new commander. He's a craven. Alright, let's put him. Alright, since I don't need that many men, let me just do this. Split in half. Get back up with this army, so we're gonna land over here. Um, what are you good at? Learning your septum. What's my septum? Uh, it's not bad. Alright, this is a pain in the ass. Alright, let's get off here. Or actually, can we just land there? No. We're gonna have these guys join back up. Alright, now, everybody join me. The Reach has no men, man. Alright. Damn, Tywin's lost a lot, too. We're just gonna have them all come under us. I don't care if they take attrition, it'd just be easier to go and assault all that stuff back. Since we got the bulk of what we need on the islands, at least... I got enough there to siege back what needs to be sieged, so I can do two things at once. Let's go put the boats back up here, so in case they need to take a, you know, take off. Alright, please join up with me, alright, good. Alright, um, they're trying to take that, so we can't have that happen. We're gonna go up there and take this, too. We're at 50. Go up here, take these guys out first. Actually, let's switch him with Theodon. Alright, now we're gonna be good, I think. Um. No, I'm not giving you Dragonstone. I'll give you money. Alright, who's this kid? Wells. Alright, let's go. Let's end this shit now. Got a couple minutes. We just gotta go up and take all that crap back, but we'll be able to assault it at least. Uh, manually joined up there, so that'll make it go a little quicker at least. Alright, we can assault this back too. On our way, alright. Nice. Well, at least he, well, he's got a little more men now than his dad did. Alright, take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Alright. How many men do they have here? Uh, it's full. Alright, um... We'll go up here. Oh shit, where's he going? Damn it. You know, I'll take these back. Cause these are probably going to be worth more because they're actually mine. Yeah, they are. All that stuff up there is worth way more than anything in the Stormlands. So, after I take that back, I might be alright. I had to pretty much get that down to zero or get positive because I'm not going to be able to end this otherwise because he didn't want to end it when I had 83% so I'm going to at least get up in the 90s I need to even be I didn't even think about it probably alright um driftwood hall, driftwood hall you do have boats at least alright um let's get down here we're already up to 60 something again. Alright, we're taking back something else from Driftwood. Did they get back Hall yet? No. See, that's four itself, and there's five. So, after we get that, that'll be a lot to 71%. Alright, who's this? Uh, we'll do nothing. We got other things to deal with. Alright, let's go up. Keep making our way. We might be able to pull this off this episode. We'll see. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my son Harwin. Oh, he's got the flu. Save my young boy, please. I have the pox, and I don't know if I have any more kids. 
Uh, they're being skillfully treated by your court physician, Eric. Your, my bastard son, Harwin, is feeling much better. Perhaps he's deserving some praise. Sure. All right. 84. All right. We'll take this, and we'll have to come back and grab that, probably. Hopefully, we don't have enough men to deal with him. Turn bridge is coming with a thousand men. That's not bad. All right. Damn, they assaulted that before I even got there. 91. Alright. What the hell? What's he occupying here? How is he occupying this? I thought he was with me. I don't know what just happened. Alright, he took that back. Alright, 91. Brazen display of disrespect, Septon Rayquard proclaimed that he would no longer serve as a Septon of a wicked king whose rule has not yet been legitimized by the faith. Well, hell with you, then. I can't do anything about it to this stupid war is over. Alright, I'm on assault. Yeah, I'll find something for you later, dude. Something's on right now. 90. Uh, mission to prove your good news been a success during the visit to court of Lady Sybil Rosby. I managed to make her understand what a benevolent piece of rule you really are. Good. She didn't like this. Alright, um... 94, 96. Let's see if I'll give up. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Alright, we're gonna have to go and take this back. At least. Ah, uh, we only have 3%. Alright. Whoa, we're just trying to take that. Good hundred. Whew. It was whole, I think, we got back. Yup. That four made it just over the top. Alright. Now you're arrested. <laughs> Man, that took forever. That war started. I don't even remember where it's when it started, but it took forever. Oh my god. Put it this way, Rhaegar wasn't even 30 yet. So it's been at least like, it was like eight years at least. All right, um, war has ended. So, now yeah, we can just, we can drop our men. These are events spawned, I think. So they can go to King's Landing. King Rhaegar fulfilled the ambition to win the war. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed and by your brave loyalist. Lord Paramount Eddard Star, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Now, I think we will uh, let him bend the knee just because our queen of love and beauty here is um, his sister. I don't think she'd want us to kill him. So yeah, I think he's probably the only one I'm gonna let bend the knee. All these other cats are gonna get. Hold on, matter of fact, I need to um, let me call Core out of hiding before any rebellion starts. So now we got our brother here. He needs to be married to somebody. I think I'm gonna marry my two kids together. To be honest. She's only a year older. She didn't turn out that bad. Unless I can find some like high valerian. I mean, this girl's not that bad. But I'd take a hit in prestige like crazy. All right, what ambition should we do? Room and air, probably. Yeah, that'll give us some more fertility. Maybe you can knock out one real quick. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Alright, um, I think we're gonna end this here, and then I'll start up by, uh, oh, we can usurp the Stormlands, which we're definitely gonna do. I can just take it from him because he's locked up, but we'll wait and see, uh, what happens with him. We have a bunch of people gonna come up, so this one is 121 men. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take his any idea that went up against their Lord Paramount that was on our side like the reach Taking Old Town 
Arbor, I don't know so much about. He got locked up and pretty much got made to do it. So, uh, probably, I don't know. I'll probably leave him alone. But I'm definitely taking an Old Town from them. Giving the Stormlands is John Con still alive. Yep. I'm going to give it to John Con. Uh, the Lead the West alone. Nobody rebelled against Tywin's rule, I don't think. Uh, the Riverlands, I'm probably going to take two and give it to, uh, I can't remember who it was that fought with me. I think it would have been Derry. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, the Iron Isles, pretty much out of it. Mordsport is the only one that came to our aid. So, he hasn't made himself a king, so we don't have to worry about going after it. And I think, uh, just because I let him bend the knee, but if something happens in the future, White Harbor is going to get the north. And then in the Vale, I think Goldtown was the only one that came to our aid. So I think I'm going to take it from him and give it to Grafton. But we'll figure that out next time. So until then, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.